New details on the shocking attempted murder of a sitting Supreme Court justice. Pro-abortion protesters showing up last night right in front of Brett Kavanaugh's home, just hours after a man was arrested with plans to assassinate him. That suspect armed with a gun, knife, zip ties, and duct tape, plus other things, and a plan to kill the justice and then himself. Many wondering why President Biden has not verbally mentioned the threat on Kavanaugh's life, even though there's been ample opportunity to do so. The president sounding off on the end of Roe versus Wade last night on late night television, though. There's a whole range of things that are at stake here when we talk about eliminating Roe v. Wade. It's clear that if, in fact, the decision comes down the way it does and these states impose the limitations they're talking about, it's going to cause a mini revolution. They're going to vote a lot of these folks out of office. That comes as House Democrats stall on a bipartisan bill meant to increase security for the justices and their families. I spoke with federal judge Esther Salas this morning. She lost her son to a crazed gunman who showed up at their home on the importance of such bills. We need to do something to protect all federal judges across this nation. And the Daniel Andrew bill is a concrete step in the right direction. But we, this is, this is, I mean, we just saw Judge Romer assassinated in Wisconsin last Friday. When is it going to stop? This country is in trouble. Democracy is in trouble. And we need to have our leaders stand up and say, we're going to lead. Our justice system is in trouble. And judge, judges stand on the front line protecting democracy. So there's a lot to cover here. Jesse, let me start with you on this. Pretty amazing that uh, you can imagine if it was somebody else, they probably would have said something. But Brett Kavanaugh is almost like subhuman to them. Yeah, I mean, Republicans, Oof. we have to condemn when someone tweets something. Right. <laughs> and someone tr has an assassination attempt and they don't have to say anything. I, this has given me such clarity over the stakes of what we're dealing with with these leftists and how evil some of these people are. The president of the United States should not be using the word revolution on the heels of an assassination plot against a Supreme Court justice. They say words matter. That's a word that matters. You right now have Joe Biden, Kamala Harris. She has not said anything on camera. Schumer has not even put out a statement from what I gather. And Garland still hasn't arrested any of these protesters who are breaking federal law outside his house. The media is just stone cold evil here. The New York Times doesn't put it on the front page. USA Today doesn't put it on the front page. And the cable news pundits are both sizing it and burying it. And they're saying, oh, you know what? It happens this and that side and this side. And, you know, this is going to get crazy. I don't like what's happening because if you look at it from their perspective, you could argue that this is a conspiracy and they like the heat on Kavanaugh because you have the leak and then you have the hands off approach from the Justice Department. You have the insightful words from Schumer and then zip zilch from the highest leaders in the United States, Kamala and Joe. So what does that do? That gives license to the would be's and wannabes and mini revolutionaries. So you have to think, how far do they want to take it? How far are they going to push this thing? It seems like they want to push it right to the edge. And this country cannot have that. And they need to dial it back and be a little more responsible before something really, really ugly gets happening. And I think we're this close to something really ugly happening. Last night, Lindsey Graham said on the show he thinks we're this close to an assassination. Geraldo. Well, I hope that Lindsey Graham is wrong. So do I. And uh, it's absolutely disgusting what they're doing with uh, Brett Kavanaugh, a man who has been really cruelly treated since he went into the... Uh, uh, the Supreme Court arena. Uh, but on, on the other hand, the House and Senate have moved rapidly to pass legislation to protect or to uh, promote legislation, and soon to pass legislation to protect uh, Supreme Court judges with the same kinds of protection that senators and others get. Uh, and I, I think that, you know, we are shocked into action by something as outrageous as this. But I... I, I I will say one thing, the one thing that disturbs me, and you're talking about priorities, and Jesse, I understand your frustration with, uh, with liberal media. Uh, my frustration is also with conservative media and conservatives in government. Look how fast they move to protect Supreme Court judges. Where is the action to protect the school children of Uvalde and other places? Where is the congressional action? Aren't they to dealing pass with it right now? In the they, are, they are doing bogus nothing. They're hashing it out they're, in the they're Senate. They're hashing out nothing, and it's going nowhere. 
There will be no juvenile assault weapons ban. There will be nothing meaningful that happens in the Congress of the United States. They are absolutely uh, not only dysfunctional, they, they just don't care. And when you say that one side emphasizes one thing, the other side emphasizes the other, when are these people going to do the right thing, not for their party, but for their country? Well, they're trying to respect the Constitution the, also, Geraldo. Because Speaking the House can, has slow walked these uh, Supreme uh, Court security bills, and that yeah, was just changed. Okay. Look, the, the bill to protect Supreme Court justices and provide security was passed bipartisan, unanimous in the Senate, okay? But Nancy Pelosi is holding it back. This is in May that it passed, all right? She won't let it out in all of May, all of June. She says maybe she'll get to it next week. We're talking right now about the attempted assassination of a Supreme Court justice. We're talking about a president of the United States who's talking mini-revolution. Chuck Schumer is talking about you release the, the whirlwind and you're going to have to suffer for it. And Maxine Waters who says get confrontational, get in their faces. I'm telling you right now, Merrick Garland, should be thrown out of yeah. office for not arresting every one of those people in front of Kavanaugh's house last night. He has an obligation, and I'm sick of their empty words, where Merrick Garland yesterday says, you know, it's a threat to our democracy. To them, the only thing that's a threat to democracy is parents fighting for their children in schools. And if you were involved in January 6th, where people are still being held in, in isolation and solitary confinement, not this past January, the January before. It's but here's what I'm concerned about. You know what, Dana? I'm going to take an extra 30 seconds. Yeah, you can I am it. sick and tired of the Republicans laying down. Every time the Democrats are in charge, the Republicans act like, you know, they've got their white gloves on. When, when Scalise was shot by a Bernie Sanders supporter and the Democrats said, oh, let's not be political, the Republicans said, okay, let's be friends, kumbaya. And then this kind of thing happens, and they then want to throw everybody in jail, and everyone who did something on January 6th, they should go to jail if they violated the law. But this is an attempted assassination on a Supreme Court justice, and they don't give a damn that the president of the United States would go on national television and not one media has heard him apologize is disgusting. And they, as far as I'm concerned, when the Republicans get in office, if they don't do something and have a moral courage and a fortitude to get these people back in line, then you know what? They don't deserve our votes. One of the things that's frustrating is that the laws aren't followed, right? And people aren't. So you, you are not allowed to protest outside of federal judge's home. They had ample opportunity to do so last night. They had advance warning, and they decided not to do it. Right. And if this were Sotomayor's house, would those pro protesters still be left there? And if one of them were shot, would the cop be a hero? Right? Um, there's a reason why this isn't being covered. There's two reasons. One is that the press can't cover this because their fingers are all, fingerprints are all over the relentless demonization of Kavanaugh, among other people. I mean, it's enough of a demonization based on this Roe v. Wade leak and other things that it took, uh, I would say, an impressionable introvert and radicalize him into a spectacle-seeking suicide. Right? I mean, this is what this kid, he's never yeah. done anything before, but the, he was clearly influenced. That's one reason. They know that they're partially responsible, so they really can't cover it. That's why in the New York, New York Times it was on page like 820, 820. or something like that. And they're not, by the way, it's not anywhere. It's not anywhere. Number two, they cannot counter program against January 6th. There's nothing that exposes your exaggerated threat than a real, unambiguous, direct threat with a guy with a Glock. Why is a fully armed leftist showing up to kill a judge not being covered? Because he's a leftist and it's on the day of this hearing. All we ask, or all I ask, is that, we, that legitimate assassination attempts of Supreme Court judges get the same attention that maybe a guy, an unarmed guy dressed up as a Viking stealing a Pelosi <laughs> podium would get. That's all. That's all. But that can't happen because that's counter-programming against a trumped-up turd of a show trial. I mean, these are people that threw a fence around the Capitol because somebody sneezes. And here, they don't do crap. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.